So it's still a product video, but it's a product storage video. And I just wanted to upload this because I haven't seen a lot of videos kind of highlighting this unit. So I just wanted to show you, this is my bathroom. I'm not going to show you the whole thing or anything like that. But I just wanted to show you that it's kind of a narrow distance between the wall and my cabinets. And I really wanted something to fit right there. So I went to Ikea and I was looking at a bunch of different options like the Helmer and the Alex units. And I was looking at options to kind of like nail it to the wall and put it above my towel bar, but I don't really like the look of that. Um, because if anything I'd want to put artwork there. I don't like like something hanging and sticking out far. So I measured these dimensions of kind of this area of what I wanted to fill and what I would be okay with letting hang over and ended up settling on this McKay unit which I am super super happy about. So now the video is going to be filmed this way. The other way I just wanted to tilt it to kind of show you like what it would look like when you walk in and kind of see the unit. You know this is much more of a kind of panoramic horizontal view. So in my bathroom you know it's right across from my toilet and my shower is right here. And then I have this nice little extra storage unit. Now I do have like bathroom cabinets and everything and this is my bathroom I don't have to share it which I got really lucky my boyfriend uses his own bathroom so we each have our own bathroom to put all of our own crap <laughs> but even with having my own bathroom I'm sure you people have noticed but I like free things so I tend to have a bunch of these deluxe size samples that there's just no way I go through product that fast but I'm not going to throw away products or something like that or there's things that I'm trying or I only use them once a week and so all those reasons led me to having to get another kind of storage unit and this McKay unit is actually a part of the like office storage section of Ikea and it's actually a filing cabinet the bottom drawer you're supposed to be able to put files and everything I ended up using it for bathroom storage so yeah basically I ended up liking this much better than the Helmer because it's a lot sturdier I think it looks a lot nicer because it's actually like wood quality instead of that metal it's less noisy because it's wood instead of metal the drawers are each individually taller so I can be able to actually stand items up instead of having to store them on their side and overall this is only fifty nine dollars and the Helmers are still forty dollars this is fifty nine dollars so it's nineteen dollars more but it is bigger and just a little bit better quality overall that I just really like this McKay unit better than the Helmer The McKay unit measures, this is 13 and 3 fourths of an inch wide. Now they call it wide because technically what you would do is this would go underneath a desk kind of thing and it would slip under a desk so that you just see this, okay? But I obviously use it a different way. This dimension then, this is 19 and 5 eighths deep, okay? So almost 20 inches to go this way. The height then is 29 and a half inches tall. So in relation to my towel bar, it's a good enough distance. My towel, you know, obviously kind of hangs over and blocks it, but that kind of also helps kind of keep it more obscure looking and not so, I don't really want it to stand out. I just want it to be accessible in here and store things. So that's 29 and a half inches. And again, the idea is that if it were like underneath the desk, so it's almost desk height. Okay, so this McKay unit then has three small drawers and one tall drawer. And really what I would say is it's almost like one narrow, two small, and one large. Because this drawer is a little bit of a different height. So I went to Ikea and I looked at a bunch of the different drawers in person so I could feel them, touch them, look at them, and kind of be like, 
okay, what do I mind putting in this area? And I went ahead and I measured beforehand this distance, this height, and this width to kind of say, okay, I would be okay with something kind of fitting this area. My shower door actually opens both ways, so it opens in, so I can still get into my shower and not knock into this unit. But it's just something I recommend is that make sure you measure what you're trying to do so then you're not unhappy with it later kind of thing. The other thing then I did is I took my iPhone with me obvious, for obvious reasons, but also I kind of measured, I took a bunch of things that I wanted to be able to put in here and I thought about the relationship of it to my iPhone. So like I wanted to be able to store things kind of standing straight up. So like this serum, I don't use it all the time, but I do use it often enough that I wanted to be able to have it accessible and have it store straight up and down and not kind of on its side where it might be leaking product out. So then I kind of took this serum, you know, before I went and I said, okay, it's about that tall compared to my iPhone and kind of like that. And then I took my phone and I put it in each drawer that I was kind of looking at to kind of give me a measurement. And make sure you actually put the item in the drawer because remember it has a bottom. So that kind of eats up some of your distance that you don't see. Okay, So I did that and that really helped me also decide that I like the height of these drawers best. Okay, So now the first drawer here this one is a little bit shorter than the other two. So in the other two drawers, you get this extra distance, okay, where things can still clear it. In this drawer, you don't get that extra little distance, so things can't clear that height. But I can still store a decent amount of things kind of standing straight up. So like this deluxe size Genifique sample from Lancome, that stores straight up. And it just has amazing storage capacity for this kind of deluxe size product sample stuff. So what I do is I just take cardboard boxes from like items that I've purchased or you know just leftovers and I just keep them and it kind of helps like compartmentalize my crap. <laughs> so it's like organized clutter. I know it doesn't look very organized. This will not be an organization video I promise. This is an organized clutter. Contained mess video. The other thing though is that these drawers are great because they slide out smoothly on these little coasters but when you pull them out they don't fall. I was trying this Sterilite container from Target because it's really inexpensive but they're so floppy and weak so if you pull out a drawer the drawer would kind of fall on you so you'd have to hold the drawer up the same thing is what happens with the helmer so I know people store nail polish in those but it's kind of a pain because nail polish gets heavy so you have to hold the drawer open and then select the nail polish at the same time these open up on their own no problem and there's no holding them they're really nice and sturdy in that sense Okay, now for going back here too, the only thing is that you do lose some of this back storage space. So my recommendation, whatever you're putting in these, but for me, I realized that if I store things this way and let it roll to the back, I would never see it. So I make sure that I store some of these things this way so I can actually get to them. So like, see how tall this product is, okay? I store it in here like this. And in, when I have the drawer fully extended, it basically disappears. So that's how much more drawer I have. I just can't get to it because it's even though the drawer is fully extended, it has those stoppers, which is nice because then the drawer doesn't keep sliding and fall open. So I just make sure that these things, I put things that I can actually access like this kind of thing. Does that make sense? Okay. The next drawer here, so this one, I also just keep all these little like containers and just put a bunch of crap in here. So whatever you want to store in these, but like these store uni palettes, like if you had makeup and stuff like that, you could easily store some of those palettes on their side, which is like really nice because you still want to be able to get to them. But it stores all kinds of stuff. So like again, this box helps me kind of get to things that are all the way in the back kind of thing. Does that make sense? 
But like I said, these serums, you can stand these straight up and down and still be able to get to them. So originally I had like Sephora by OPI nail polishes in here and I had Julep nail polishes in here and they all fit perfect standing nice and straight up and down. I just have since moved them because I've kind of collected more of them so it didn't make sense to keep them in here. Again, this ethics drawer, it's the same height as this one, and it stores, these are like all my deluxe size travel things. So like, eat these L'Occitane bottles, you know, like, it stores these straight up and down. So that's perfect. I mean, that saves me so much space instead of having to put it on its side. Same thing with like these deluxe size samples. This is like a Johnson Johnson baby powder. So like that's kind of the height that you're working with. That store is really nice and neat standing straight up. So th some things obviously don't make it. Like this, this hand cream is just a little bit too tall. Let me show you. So what happens is it knocks into it. As long as you give it some distance to fall, then it can store kind of straight up and down. It just can't be exactly straight up and down. Okay? Lastly then, this drawer, this is supposed to be a filing cabinet, but obviously I use it for other reasons, but it's really great because, you know those really tall things that you don't know where to store them if you don't have things like drawers tall enough for them? This is perfect for them. So like this gigantic hairspray or this gigantic bottle of aloe that I clearly haven't even dented. I still need to be able to get to it. Now it's not a product that I use all the time because hopefully I'm not burning myself all the time. But when I do need it, I want to be able to just come in here and grab it and put it on and not have to go hunting or digging in some other storage area. And obviously you can compartmentalize these drawers then to kind of just fit your needs. But like I have this little container from Target and that kind of just helps separate things a little bit. I mean you can store things this way, this way, you can start stacking them. I mean you can do a lot with these. Like this store is like lotions too and you know this is like a backup toothbrush. This is like sleeping masks. So it just stores a bunch of crap and just kind of helps declutter your life a little bit. So I really, really love this McKay unit. I'm super happy that I went to Ikea and tried out a bunch of things and then settled on this one. Oh, lastly, I have to comment. So it does come on coasters, four coasters. And this one, actually, you can put a coaster on this so it's easier to, like, slide it in and out. Um, and they do, they're really nice and flush. So you can roll them underneath the thing so that you don't have to worry about them sticking out and giving yourself that distance. I lock them because this unit's not going anywhere. And I actually even put one of those little furniture squares underneath it so that it really doesn't roll on me. And then it just stays put right here. So I can bang into this, I can grab a drawer in a hurry, and it's not going anywhere. It's really nice and sturdy in that sense. Okay, so again, this is the McKay unit, and really quick, I was just going to say what's on top of here, even though it's not related to the McKay, but it could be a really nice little vanity area if you wanted, like you could put your perfumes up here, you could lay all kinds of pretty stuff up here. I don't really care, I don't share this bathroom, and it's not my guest bathroom, so this is my bathroom. Nobody sees this, this is just for me. But like, these are these little organizing things from Ikea. They're supposed to go in drawers, like dresser drawers, to organize like underwear and stuff. I obviously use them for different purposes. So like, these are all my facial scrubs. I only scrub my face when I go into the shower, so it's right here. So I can just grab a scrub, go into my shower, and come back out and put it back kind of thing. This is also perfect for me because I like to lay my clothes out the night before. So it's just a nice little bin so I can throw my underwear, my socks, my bra, my clothes, like whatever I'm going to wear, I can just throw it in here, it'll catch it all and I'm ready for the next day. I also keep my deodorant in here so it's like before I put on my clothes, I see my deodorant, I can put my deodorant on and then put my clothes on. And then this is also a little soft storage thing from Ikea. They come in a bunch of different sizes. But I just put my jewelry that I'm going to wear in here too. And this is just like a little soft. Your watches go around these. So I'm like a watchaholic. So I tend to keep really good care of my watches. So I'll throw whatever watch I'm going to wear in here too. So 
it's just a really nice way for me to kind of contain myself and I know it still kind of looks messy but it's really not super messy it's actually kind of contained and organized and that's perfect for me like that's all I need it's my bathroom nobody else has to see this so it works out well well except for all you YouTube people out there but anyway so again this is the McKay unit and I really really recommend it as an alternative to like the Helmer or the Alex from Ikea because it's a really affordable price point it was only 59 bucks and it stores so much stuff like it has really really helped me just kind of be able to store all kinds of items so that I don't have to throw them away or I don't have to feel like I have to rush and use them up and kind of thing so it's a really great idea you could use this for so many things like arts and crafts like nail polishes you know non-beauty related things like it's a really nice unit so I just kind of really wanted to show it off in that sense because when I was looking online nobody else has really done a product review on it so I saw reviews on Helmer's and I saw reviews on Alex units but nobody's done the McKay and I think it's a really great alternative to those two so I just wanted to kind of show that this is how I use it and this is why I use it and I think it could be another great thing for somebody else out there so I hope you enjoy this video I know it's a little bit longer than I usually do and I kind of ramble but I hope it was super helpful and thanks so much for sticking out through the end